Welcome to the homework for lesson five. This is module five of first grade. Get your name on here first. And it says the first thing to do is to cut out all of the tangram pieces from the separate piece of paper you brought home from school. It looks like this, and here's a picture of it. Now this, the t you might have tangram puzzle at home already. If, if you do, then use that. But there is a page that comes after the homework that has, let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing. It has two tangram puzzles on it that can be cut out. One of them to be used in school, one of them to be cut out at home and used there. You might also have an envelope with the pieces that you've taken home, that you've taken home from school. Uh, if you don't have any of this stuff, you don't have that page, you don't have tangram puzzle, Maybe you can uh, click on the link I have in the video description that will show you where, uh, how to get the pages for free online. If you can print them out, then print them out and then you can cut them. What I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, I'm going to be careful, try and be careful to leave, leave a little bit of a pause so that you can pause the video before I just give you the show you the answers for how to do everything uh, because this one it's important to take the time to actually move the pieces around and and figure it out figure out the puzzle pieces yourself because the whole point of this homework is to have time to just play with the puzzle pieces uh, so cut them out and it says tell a family member the name of each shape so we have triangles most of these are triangles there's a square And right here, this guy here is a parallelogram. And then follow the directions to make each shape below. Draw or trace to show the parts you use to make the shape. Use two tangram pieces to make one triangle. Now I'll give you a hint that uh, there's it's already set up in the puzzle that way but once you cut up and take the pieces apart you may have a hard time trying to figure out how to put them together to make the triangle but I'll give you a hint first that's what it looks like when you put it back together again and make the square um, and there are two pieces put together to make a triangle just in that right there so pause the video see if you can figure it out And here's uh, for A. This right here is two triangles put together to make two pieces put together to make one triangle. It doesn't have to be two triangle pieces that you put together to make a triangle. But that's an easy example right there. So I'm going to draw that. there and now it says use one square and one triangle to make one trapezoid and I'll give you a hint look at the tangram puzzle because there's two of them in that but you might find another way to do it too okay so here's what you can do I'll show you there are two different ones in here square and a triangle put together to make a trapezoid there's one of them right there and here's another right here So here we go. I'm going to draw that. There's the square. Oh, that's a really crummy square. Or it's going to be a really crummy square. And then one side of the triangle is about the same as the same side as a square. And there's a part like that. 
So there's your trapezoid. Trapezoid has parallel sides. That side is parallel to that side. There's your trapezoid. And then it says here, use one more piece to change the trapezoid into a rectangle. All right. So there are two triangles that are about the same size. Oops. Two triangles that are about the same, that are the same size, and you're going to need them. So you start with this trapezoid. And then you just take the other triangle and you make an, you just kind of make a square out of out of it with the other triangle put those together and then now you have a rectangle this whole thing four straight sides and four square corners there's your rectangle then it says make an animal with all of your pieces Draw or trace to show the pieces you used. And uh, label your drawing with the animal's name. So just play with the pieces. Make something that looks like an animal. You can make dogs, cats, all kinds of things. If you've ever read the book or it was read to you, Grandfather Tang, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of examples of, uh, of, of animals made out of tangram pieces so just get a little creative you got a whole page to draw a picture of it you'd probably find a lot easier to to, to make animals you, you might find that you can make a lot more than one of them draw more than one it's fine and then don't forget to label your label with your animal's name